In this video, we go end to end, finding and running a start project in Microchip Studio. So in Microchip Studio, we'll plug in our kit. We immediately get this kit welcome page coming up with key links and resources for the board. What we're going to do is look for example projects for this board using start. Here we can see that the board is just populated and it's the same search as if we just entered this manually ourselves. We can open the user guide of each of these examples and evaluate if it's what is useful for us. So in this example, the button starts a timer for 32 milliseconds, which is the debouncing delay, and then the LED turns on. The same when the button is released. Okay, so let's download this one and have a look. So we can drag, Alt-Tab, drop. This opens a new project. If this is a new part and the device family pack is not installed, you'll be prompted to install it. Before we try and understand any of the code, let's just select our debugger and I click on Start Without Debugging, which builds and then programs the board. But I see that the kit needs a firmware upgrade, so I accept this and the kit is upgraded and then the project starts running. And now as we push the button, the LED comes on. In the next one, we'll have a look at how we can use the data visualizer to verify the debouncing timeout.